work to be done. I found a file folder full of Halloween themed things that I forgot I put together to do sort of a Halloween Day of the Dead sort of journal. Um, and I remembered that I also wanted to try bleaching some black paper. So we're going to try that now. I wish, I, I hear that you can do it with hydrogen peroxide and not actually with bleach. I don't have any hydrogen peroxide. So I have a small bottle, spray bottle. I'm going to fill with water. Well, not quite full. This has bleach in it. And I'm just going to put a few drops. I want to use diluted bleach, even if it takes a while to bleach the paper. So I'm going to put, I don't know, I'm going to try like 10 drops. Oh, heck, I'm just going to put a dropper full. <laughs> and um, then we'll put the lid on because the bleach smells. And for those that don't know, I'm asthmatic. So, All right, I'm going to start with a piece of cardstock, a.k.a. a black file folder. Oh, and this has some plastic bits in it I need to throw away from the last project I used this cookie sheet for. Okay, some of these cookie sheets have um, paint and ink and whatever on them from the last time I put something in here to dry that I was dying or whatever. That's okay if it transfers, I don't care. So I'm going to just, hold on. I'm going to just spray, and this is a piece of car, uh, this file folder, so I'm going to spray like all the sides. I'm going to set it aside to dry. I'm going to do all these pieces of paper this way really quick before my meeting. And it's going to work, I can tell you already, because this one's already starting to lift. So I'm going to let it dry and we'll see what we get at the end. I'll be back. Now I may also drip some straight bleach on the paper too, which I think I'm going to do really quick. It's working. I might want to do this two or three times before I get the distressed color that I want, but cool. How much time do I have left? Three minutes. Yay, yay, yay. Now to wash my hands really quick and clean up and then get to my meeting. Okay guys, the bleached paper came out great. I took some of it. I have extra, which I'm not mad about. Um, and I took some of it and I cut them to size and I folded them in half already. A piece of the black file folder cardstock paper for the cover and then the black drawing paper for the inside. Um, and before somebody asks me in the comments below, <laughs> okay, these are a little bit smaller than the cover. So these should be about six and three quarter inches tall and I think 11 inches. Um, the paper was 11 inches and I trimmed it. So now it's about 10 and three quarters inches long and then folded in half. Okay. And then the cover is, um, like seven and seven, eight, I'm sorry, six and seven eighths inches tall. And a full 11 inches long. Again, folded in half. So I folded these in half, put them down flat, and then I evened up all the edges um, with a X-Acto knife and a straight ruler. Now I'm going to just center them along the fold in the cover. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Uh, anybody who knows how I make journals knows I can't be bothered to measure anything out. <laughs> All right. And if you're watching this part, you already saw me bleaching the paper. And if you missed that part, like I'll put it, go back to the beginning of the video because I'm gonna put that first. Anyway, um, once it was bleached and dried, I ironed it flat and it came out great. All right. I have some black thread. I couldn't find it. I could only find these two and then I found the black. So we're gonna use black. Um, I need my pokey tool. 
I'm just, again, I'm gonna eyeball it. On the fold, I'm gonna eyeball the center and I'm gonna poke one hole, keeping my fingers well apart from where the pokey tool should come out so I don't stab myself because blood on the journal is a bad idea. About an inch or so from one end and about an inch or so from the other end. And now we've got our three holes. We're gonna just, just do simple pamphlet stitch. I can't be bothered learning any fancy stitches. I know, I know, I'm lazy, I'm aware. You don't have to tell me. Now I just have to find the end of the thread, there we go. This is a waxed linen cord made for book binding. Are there scissors in this kit? Yes. So this is a little kit of tools I keep that has all my book binding tools in it and usually one or two spools of thread. This is from the people at Zutter and I have had it a long time when I got my very first to bind it all. Um, at least a decade ago, but I think it's been longer than that and I still own a Zutter. But the tool bag is great. Anyway, all right. Got a needle. We'll thread it. It's a large eyed book binding needle. We'll go in the middle hole. Someday. Okay, there we go. Pull the string, but leave a couple inches on the inside. Then pick one of the outer holes. And go in from the outside, pull. Okay, then go all the way down to the other end. And get one last hole you haven't gone in yet. Okay. And then back up the center hole. And then I'm going to, I have the string on one side of, of this main center cord. I'm going to lift this up and push it over the needle so that when I pull the needle up, I have the two ends on either side of this cord. I could have probably gone with less string, but that's fine. You usually want to do about two times to two and a half times the length of this part. I always guess. I never bother measuring, obviously, if you can't tell. Okay, pull it tight, and then tr don't trim it too close. Leave about an inch or so, and there you go. Oops, one bound journal, ready for some skull stuff. All right, that's the next part. Let's get to it. Journal started out as something I wanted to do because when I was sorting my collage images, I found all these things that are black and white or shades of gray. So we are going to primarily focus on using these in the journal. I have some ideas and thoughts already and doing some, you know, journaling. I didn't think maybe these might fit in here somewhere. And then this big image, the journal is much smaller than the image, but we could make it work. So. I'm going to do this in a few episodes and we're going to fast forward through the process. I'm going to decorate something on the cover now and then the next pages will be in the next videos. Let's get to it. 